Hey everyone, how are you guys today? Today I am so happy because I've been nothing but traveling to the beaches and having fun with my husband. One of my favorite things for those who follow me, you see, I love traveling. And when I get a chance on the weekends, I get a chance to travel. And I wanted to share with you guys in this quick video, um, one of the things I do to record the things I do when I travel. I came across this awesome passport book, which I'm going to go over here in a second. But first, before you do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like to follow along. Also, don't forget down below, everything I'm showing you is down below, including the books here. Now, mind you, when I was looking for these books, because this book's book here is a collector's edition passport book. The only way I got my hands on one of these is when I went to one of the national parks and they still happen to have it left. Now these are made no longer. So you find it's really hard to find them. And so um, if you want to, down below I put all the links of all the places I found any of them. I think I only found 15. Some were eBay, some were Amazon, um, and they range from like $30 up to $60 depending on who the seller is, but you don't want to miss out on this. So. This is one thing I use when I go traveling to any of the national parks. I love national parks. It's something I enjoy and I love to do. So when you get your hands on one of these books, I'm going to go through it really quick and show you what it's all about. It's really cool. Before I do, I want to tell you how I got mine. <laughs> Those who've been following along, my daughter and I, um, this past summer, went on a road trip, and my daughter never has never left the state of Indiana, and I just moved down here in Florida, and she stays with her dad up in Indiana right now. So I drove up to Indiana, picked her up, and for the first time, she got to drive, don't mind my husband's doing dishes in the background, um, all the way through the Bible Belt, all the way down to Pensacola, Florida, where I'm at, and we stopped at Mammoth Cave, and that's what this sticker is here. So when you get this book, you won't have that sticker. It'll look like this without that sticker kind of thing. And I came across this book and I instantly fell in love. What's really cool about this book, it's like 10 by, let's see here, it's Spyro. The only thing I found, I couldn't add things to it. So it was like seven by 10. But the cool thing about this passport book is that when you open it up, it has a map. And in this map is a plastic sleeve. And when you open up this map, it has all the national parks in the United States, so which is awesome. But I pretty much love the target, the areas of where I'm at now. Like, for instance, here in Florida, I'll show you. Like, anytime you go to a national park, you get a cool map like this. And they tell you where all the different um, national parks are at. I'll give you a good example here without getting you guys lost. Like, for instance, I am, this is where I live, right here. I don't know if you can see that in the lighting. That's Cola, Florida. And so all these dots down below here shows me, because I'm very close. I live right on the Gulf, National Seashore like area. So there's all these different uh, national parks along the way. So when I go to one, I circle it, we map it out, we GPS it, and I go straight to it. So that's what this really cool about this book. It does all the different states. All right. And then you get um, all these different squares here. They have these collector's stamps that are non-ink stamps that you can buy. So when you go to one of those national parks, you could peel this off. I'll give you a good example. I haven't done mine yet because I was going to save it for you guys kind of thing. Left my marker here. So you could peel off that sticker. And then you can put it right where that little square is here. But like right here, I'm going to show you. Today, I went to Fort Pickens here. It's a national golf um, park, which is awesome. Right there, it's just beautiful no matter what. So then you do the stamp. When you go to any of the national parks, they stamp your book just like a passport. And that's what I do. Thing is, I go out there all the time. So <laughs> I know I instead of that one park, I didn't want all those stamps all over the place. So I have this book I'm starting, which I'll share with you guys later on. But right now I want to show you how I do this, um, that I can keep stamping every time I go there and then put a photo, like say if I went with my grandson, if I went with my daughter kind of thing. And uh, this book shares with you um, the information about that area and each area you get to go to, obviously you get a map. And so what I decided to do long story short, which eventually I'll make a book of them. You get a map. And so I've been making the maps into book pages. 
And then of course, I think I'll do the um, either sew in or the three ring, I'm not sure. Like for instance, this one here is Mammoth Cave. I'll have pictures and everything. And I was gonna put the different papers in there and signatures to where it would still open up and I can still see the map. And if it doesn't, I'll put another map right in there from there. I was gonna keep the tickets and stuff like that. But the main thing is I'll show you how I do that um, and how I'm gonna be putting like the different postcards from there into the pockets kind of thing. But that is my goal with separate books outside of this main book. But wherever you go, they have the different uh, regions. Like right now, I'm in the southeast region, and you can stamp it. And uh, so I'm just, I'm excited. I can collect the stamps. I can, um, the sticker stamps, and then I can collect the ink stamps of wherever we go. And it pretty much marks it. I'm trying to find the other one. It's rather new. But um, either way, it's really cool. It does all the regions. Here, I'll start from the beginning. Here you go. So it starts off like that. And it tells you the North Atlantic region. It will tell you the Mid Atlantic region. It'll tell you, it tells you all the different regions. Like right now, I'm working on the Florida area. And uh, yeah, so I'm so excited. This is how I do my travels and have been doing my travels. And my goal is in this new series here on YouTube is to share that with you. So whatever wherever I go, like for instance, I think the first one I'm going to do after I show this book is I'm going to go back to Fort Pickens here in uh, Fort Florida in the Gulf Breeze right there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get the stamp and show you how I get the stamp there at the, at the window. And then at the end of it, I'll just do all the pictures and video footage of my time there. So you guys can follow along and come along with me. So where you feel like you're along the ride and you were actually there yourselves. And who knows, maybe it might be a place that one day you guys might want to go to. And I'm telling you and showing you different areas that are really, really cool. I absolutely love Fort Pickens. And I can't wait to tell you why. So that'd be for another day. My main goal is to show you this really cool passport book. Long-windedly, I hope it wasn't that bad. But to tell you to grab yours while you can because I can't find them. I took a whole like hours, I would want to say a day because that's not true, but I took a long portion of my day the other day trying to find these books for you guys. And so down below, if you like going to national uh, uh, parks, you love the travel, RVN and all that, this book is awesome. And I can't wait to uh, share with you guys what we're doing next. I know for my daughter and I, I wonder if this map will show us. Uh, this spring, I haven't told her yet, so if she's watching this video, surprise, honey. <laughs> we like to do road trips now that she's familiar with the road. Like I said, when you get this book, you get the one large map here of the United States, and it pretty much marks all the, I don't know if my camera is showing you, all the national parks to where we can map it. And that's what I'm going to do. My daughter lives, like I said, up in Indiana, so I'm looking at this upside down up here. And I live all the way down here. So along the Bible Belt are some national parks that I think, once I come to pick her up, we'll just hit these national parks all the way down before she gets to my place. And we stay there for a bit um, and hit some of the national parks where I live. And then make our way back up and hit a few more on the way back. And I figured we'll take you guys along the ride. And uh, yeah, I hope I share with you guys a book that maybe you might be interested in. I know you can't do a whole lot of journaling other than stamp work in here and and maybe some pictures and you know tickets and that is why i am going to have a separate book what i was going to do was i don't know if you guys are familiar with i'm waiting for my order to come into the mail but the um golden book uh, dictionary books by golden books pretty good size a little bit bigger than this and i was going to gut them out and then i was going to put in these maps I was going to fold them to where I can put them in there, tie in the signatures, make them like with pockets. Of course, put papers in between. And each state that I have, I'll have a book. And then to where wherever we go for the national parks, I'll have not only them stamp those pages in here, but stamp the books here. But then I have room and paper to where if I want to add photos, if I want to add different like tickets and receipts and stuff, I can outside of this. Because to be honest with you, there's no room to be adding maps to this or anything. This is packed full of like opportunity to do the ink stamp and the sticker stamps. 
So yeah, so like I said, the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to share with you guys Fort Pickens here on the Gulf Coast and what it's like and the history on it. It is amazing, uh, the structures and pieces there, and then just the beauty and serenity of the ocean and the wildlife that is there. And I don't know if they got the sticker stamps there. I haven't got the chance to open this one up. But um, these here, these stamps, you have to buy separately. These are also collector's edition. Like this here, I got the Mammoth Cave one. It also comes like here in 1991. These stamps came out. And in that, air, that year, Mammoth Cave collector stamp came out. But there's other stamps here for other national parks that are in that pack for the 1991. So I need to find the Gulf Shore collector stamp, what year it was, I'm not sure, and find it on the internet. I think I paid like five or six dollars for these stamps, which is quite fine. Um, that's part of the collector part, right? And so let me get this here without sticking my stickers. There they are. And they're stamps, as you can see here. Now the Mound Cave one, where are you at? Let's see here. Um, yeah, there it is. The Southeast region, Mammoth Cave, and that's the stamp. And then when I do that, that video, I'll do that with you guys. And like I said, at the end of the video, I will share with you guys not only video footage, but pictures of where we were there at the same time. I see here on these stamps also is the Midwest region, which is the Indiana uh, Dunes, which, you know, we call the Dunes in Michigan City, which is right there. Um, I grew up there, so I can't wait when I go to visit my daughter this coming spring. We'll do that one as well. If anyone's ever been to Lake Michigan and the dunes, oh my gosh, it's like the ocean, but it's actually a lake. It's the largest lake in the world, and the waves are no different than waves of like the ocean, but they're muckier than obviously the color of the ocean kind of thing. But yeah, I'm excited. There's so much I want to share, but hey. If you're looking for a really cool book to do uh, passport and travel and try to hit all those areas as a goal is mine, um, check it out down below while you get them while you can. I hope you guys can. I hope this was helpful and you guys got to get the little bit of me. I can't wait to share you with my travels and the things I absolutely love. And I love going to parks. I love hiking. I love anything that I can see beauty in. So I can't wait. This is all new. And I can't wait to try this out with you guys. You guys have a beautiful day. Until next time, I can't wait to share with you guys Fort Pickens here on the Gulf Coast.